Let me ask you a question. What is it about a song that makes you want to listen to it again? What is it about a melody that gets it stuck in your head? And why the hell do we know what this song is from the first three seconds? Why do we know this? <laughs> if you didn't get it, then you're about to. This melody is incredible, one of the most catchy bass lines, but what makes it so addictive? It all starts with step one, simplicity. So if we look at all the most recognizable sounds, we can see a trend in simplicity. So as melodies become more complex, it actually becomes harder for our brains to intake that information. When something is packaged really simply, it doesn't require any effort for us to remember it. And then I guess the other side of this point is that our brains don't actually remember everything that we hear exactly. What? Our brains go through a process of sort of filtering out all of that excess information and just remembering the core ideas. With Billie Jean, I personally can't remember all of the lyrics, but I can remember that bass line, I can remember the drums. All of the core, most simplistic ideas are the ones that are gonna get stuck in your head. So when we're writing melodies, especially in the beginner stages, we wanna strip back all of the stuff that would be forgotten anyway. Let me show you this. I'm gonna start with this more complex bass line and then we're gonna compare that to a more simple one afterwards. So that was quite a lot to listen to. It's not a bad bass line. It's demanding a lot of attention and I felt like I actually had to bring down the volume of everything else just so I can give it enough space because otherwise it feels like it's clashing with everything. But most importantly here is that as soon as I hit pause on that song there, the bass line melody actually just completely evaporates from my brain. I can't really remember what it sounds like because it is so complex. Compared to the simple melody, So, this one is a lot easier to digest. Really simple, just a few notes. The actual rhythm is staying the exact same the whole way through. And the simplicity makes it a lot more memorable. When I hit pause, I remember that groove that it's locked into nicely. So in this case, I really prefer the simplistic bass line over the more complex one. But if you disagree, let me know why in the comments below and we can discuss that as well. All in all, it helps to think about when someone is listening to your song, what about it is the thing that they're going to remember. Now, this is why I recommend simple at first because understanding how to write simplistic is really really going to help you when it comes to writing more complex melodies as well. So here's an example for a more complex melody. Let's check this out. That one's got a nice bit of funk about it. The reason behind why this works is because all complex melodies need a really simplistic root because otherwise they start to get lost like the last one did. So if I was to remove all of the extra notes from this melody and just leave the simplistic foundations, we would get this. all of the other extra notes are just supporting the simplistic foundation that we've built at the start. And then we just add those extra notes to add a little bit of style or flavor. So let's just do that. As an example, I think I had something like this. And then I had something like this, right? So we've maintained the simplistic structure here and then we've just added a few extra notes to give it a bit more rhythmic interest. Dialing it back to the Billie Jean bass line now, you can see that the sheer simplicity of this is what makes it so easy to remember. Now step two is repetition. Humans love to recognize patterns in music. Once we take away that familiar pattern, then it's actually really hard for our brains to latch onto or really connect with a musical idea. And something that I relate with highly, if someone introduces themselves to you, they say their name, you hear it once, unless you make an effort to remember it, 
It's gonna be gone as quick as it came. And in music, it's the exact same. That actually rhymed. If something plays once in a song, you're not very likely to remember it. But if the element is repeating over and over, what you're doing is actually familiarizing the listener with that element. But there is a bit of a problem with this because too much repetition can very easily become boring. So what we need to do is strike this balance between repetition and variation. This is another one of my tracks. Let's check this out. So the main ingredient of this track is really the bass line here, and it is very repetitive, but it's the slight variation that stops it from becoming boring really quickly. Let's have another listen and try to spot the difference between these two clips here. there's a slight change in the notes right here and it's these very minute and slight variations are the ones that are going to be discreet enough to give the repetition that you need without it becoming boring this is also mixed in with at the end of the every eight bars there's another slight variation over here and that does a lot to sort of refresh the phrase as well so now looking at the Billie Jean bass line, it actually makes a lot more sense because it's the combination between this sheer simplicity, but also a very repetitive bass line, which makes it really easy to internalize and get stuck in your head. But there is one more thing that sort of ties everything together, and that is step three, resolution. Resolution is like the thing that allows your melody to seamlessly be looping over and over. Without resolution, our loop feels less like a continuous circle and more like an upwards ramp. So resolution is like sanding your finished product. You're trying to smooth out the boundaries of the loop and link the end back to the start so that the cycle can continuously flow. Just a quick example of what resolution looks like in this melody is it's just these last little notes at the end. Let's have a listen to the second half of this without the resolution. So it's not bad, but what you'll notice about this melody is something that's easy to recognize when you look at this one. The melody is descending from A to B, so we're always going down in notes, but we're not actually going back up. So what these few notes at the end leading back up into our original one sort of just links it together and allows it to flow a lot more seamlessly. So let's have a conscious listen to these last few notes and what that does to the overall melody. It nicely leads back into the start so we can begin the cycle again. So linking all of these steps together, you can see how we can start to build really solid and easy to remember melodies. Now, I really don't like asking this, but remember to press that subscribe button so I can feel my plan addiction. And if you've been wondering what happened to melodies, go check out this video here. Go click it if you want to, it's right there. Thanks for watching.